Hey everybody, this is the Game Industrials here, back with a another what's uh, another playthrough? Yay, it's Neptunia. No, it's nice. not. Nice. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just kidding, folks. I'm just kidding, folks. We'll be doing <laughs> victory, Neptunia victory soon, but uh, mm, this is most definitely Trinity Universe. Trinity Universe. I think I heard that game. Actually. Yeah, it's made by the same people who did Neptunia. I think I heard it. I'll have to look at it again. But anyway, this is actually very different to F we're doing today. Yeah. If you've seen my channel before and uh, BSL's and Celtics, we've all done this Let's Play before. Yeah. BSL and I have done it blind. And the mouse was semi-blind. So me and BSL are the only actually went through a full blind playthrough this game. Yeah. <sighs> now, uh... The truth I really like. I love the story and everything of Fairy Friends F. Yeah, same here. Fairies. Oh, and, 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 oh, and the only thing he got right in this game is a lot of voiceovers. Uh, I mean, more voiceovers is nice, yes. I told my voice set at a time so during it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, more voiceovers is nice. <laughs> a battle with light, darkness, goddesses, demons. Uh, fairies and fencers working together as a team to collect the f to collect the furies in order to revive the goddess. To well, basically, do whatever they wish. From well, saving the world, or well, as you know, uh, ruling over the world. Your usual basics. Yeah. But, uh, uh, let's see how this goes. And as you can tell by now, it was it is made by the same people who did Neptunia. Yep, comp how hard. Did, but not Idea Factory, but uh, well, Idea Factory was kind of in on this too. But yeah, it was. Compound Hard, NIS America, and uh, Galapagos no as well. When light and darkness still bore life, but now it's time for a live cutscene here. And an entity known as the Vile God burst forth from the dark. So yeah, when I first touched this game, I'm like, oh my god, this game does look promising. I, I love how it started. Great introduction to how the music. Yes. Yeah, this is Yo, really about it's between it's the goddess and the vile god. And speaking, which as we mentioned in our in the previous playthroughs, the the new Fairy Friends F game is coming out shortly. Evan Dark Force. Yeah, that'll be coming out in uh, the spring of 2016. So, yeah. you know, we mentioned in other recordings, but yes. Look forward to that, everyone, because if, you, I mean, if you're in the Fairy Fits F, then uh, for Evan Dark Force, you need to play this one first. So, think of this as a countdown to uh, Fairy Fits F, uh, Event Dark Force. Let's we'll say that, sure. You know, looking <laughs> at this, this is making me think freaking Anja Woman vs. Devimon from Digimon. <laughs> I never watched I only it. watched Digimon one time and I could not get into it. I couldn't get into it either, truthfully. That's, and this was back when I used to watch Pokemon. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I sent the Pokemon until, uh, um, where they're currently at now, and I kind of stopped watching it. Yeah, same. It got boring after a while. It just, it wasn't boring. I just lost the, lost the hype to playing it and watching it again. I know. Uh, you're referring to X and Y right now, right? Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, I think they are. I think it's X and Y right now. I only time I really watch X and Y is when there's a gym battle. Oh, wait, yeah, they, they, actually made, they actually made a show out of X and Y. Yes, they did. They did yeah. almost every Pokemon game. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, like I said, I started watching Pokemon and I really, really not keeping up the series anymore. Yeah, the only time I'm interested in Pokemon is mainly when it's um, gym battles or if it's uh, at the championship. Hey, Aaron. Uh, oh, yeah, and yes, this is Aaron uh, Fang's uh, fairy. And this is Fang the asshole. <laughs> Just like I mentioned back in my first part. But, uh, yeah, this guy is lazy. <laughs> Got in trouble earlier because he stole bread. Like Aladdin. Stole a loaf of bread. <laughs> all, this for, all this for a loaf of bread? Yeah. Jumps off the freaking roof. <laughs> I definitely reference my playthrough as well. <laughs> you guys did. I didn't. So. 
But he likes it here, though. He can kick back, relax, and get all the food he wants and sleep, too. Dude, you don't want to like jail, man. It's dangerous. Yeah, he wants to retire here. He, yeah, freaking idiot. <laughs> you are an idiot, Faye. That's why you are a dumbass. <laughs> if for some reason, I seem like the manly version of Neptune. Yeah, you could say that, basically. But uh, Neptune's not much of an asshole, though. Like this. <laughs> She's more kind and sweet and likes breaking the fourth wall and such. Yeah. But Faye and Neptune do have something in common, though. They like to eat a lot and sleep a lot. You barely walked a few steps. <laughs> oh, yeah, it, took me, it took me a while to understand this, but this is pretty, I think this is pretty much a flashback. Oh, wait, that's, wait, that's, that's in the next scene. I think yeah, I'll this cut scene. Did three days, he swore. <laughs> Again, it is a cut for her after all, so yeah. I know. It's big in which Tiara, she makes the appearance in, um, and uh, one of those Neptune games on his beta. Uh, yeah, Tiara actually appears as a DLC in uh, Hyper Devotion to War. And she's pretty strong when you get her immediately. That's just how DLCs are, but she'd be very useful in battle. Uh, but for Steam only in Rebirth 1, you can actually get um, Fang Sword and his uh, processor and processor units. Of when he fair rises to uh in on yep I guess that's right right there that's what I was talking about for a uh, purple heart to gain uh, more power. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know if it's it. From what I've seen when I played Rebirth Two on Steam, it does seem to transfer over. Oh, it really does. Yeah, because when I played the Steam version of Rebirth Two, the DLC that I gotten for Rebirth One seemed to transfer over, and they gave me that sword for Nepgear. Oh, sweet. Interesting. Lucky, lucky. Yeah, this is three days ago. When, uh, but yeah, this is the flash right that Celtics mentioned about. Um, this is where Fane would officially begin his journey as being a fencer. Yeah, it's pretty hilarious, too, how he becomes a fencer. Uh, yeah, it's just weird. It's not that easy, Fang. I like that transparent though that that they're drawing. Yeah, bring them close up. Bring them, yeah, bring them, bring them in closer and closer. And you'll oh, wait till, wait till wait till Omega Quintet. Yeah, we're not about, we're now loading crap again. They do that. They do that a lot in Omega Quintet. Yeah. And here we go. First scoury pick. There na, she na, is. Damn it. I can't even home the fucking uh, the Master Sword theme. <laughs> See, right when Eric comes out, if Faye doesn't care, just give me some food. Give me some food. <laughs> <laughs> Screw the food. <laughs> Yo, she just popped out. She's trying to tell you something important, and all you think about is food. <laughs> Dude, I thought you said Yoshi. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't even recall you saying Yoshi. <laughs> It's like you said Yoshi came out of the fucking crowd. <laughs> but yeah. I'm glad Aaron's completely ignored his request of food while she's telling him the importance about being a fencer. <laughs> yeah, he's like, that's nice. Give me some food. But he doesn't want to do all that work. Big fat foodie. <laughs> <laughs> it was gonna happen at some point. <laughs> I just had to get out of the way. Yeah, who cares about that big fat phony? <laughs> no one cares what you do. I said no. I don't want to be a fencer. That sounds like a Well too bad. You're gonna do it anyway whether you like it or not, you lazy bastard. Now come on. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, if if I can requ- if I can like 100 jiggies of Banjo Kazooie, you can too, Fang. Just gonna clear this up now with everybody. There are not 100 fur- there are not 100 furies here. There are actually just 40 furies. So yeah, the game is wrong there. <laughs> the dollar was so wrong. Yeah, cause that'd be a lot of furies to go through. I know. <sighs> wow, 
I kind of get that, but still, yeah. Yeah, actually, you know, help out for once. That's why he's an asshole. <laughs> so now that we know about that, now we'll actually get back to the current timeline now. Yeah, even though the game don't freaking tell you, which completely threw me off when I first played this. That, that's why I just said three days ago. Yeah. But they should tell you now in present. Well, yeah, I know, but it still kind of makes sense, though. That thing... I was like, you shouldn't stole bread, but it said go steal some money out of the cash register. Yeah, real smart, Fang. You might have got worse punishment than that. By the way, random note. Uh, if you skip all the cutscenes in this game and move fast enough, you can beat this game in less than an hour. Yup, BSO <laughs> did it. BSO did it. That's what the new game plus file too, by the way, because doing it, it's at level 1 and all, ain't gonna happen by a long shot. Oh yeah, what BSO means about skipping a cutscene, you can press L2 to skip the entire thing, instead of just pressing square. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And it actually like, skips, skips the cutscene instead of just speeding it up. Yeah, that makes it easier. I wish they did that in, I wish they did that in, the, in Mark II in Victory. That have been useful doing our race. Ah, uh, it's okay, adult. <laughs> Teach me, Aaron. Oh, okay. I'm gonna say this right now. Get used to this on 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 a Mega Quintet. And you're gonna need a lot of these in uh, Fairy Friends to F. So, Aaron's our new ISTE. Trust me, the tutorials are a lot worse than a Mega Quintet. Downloading. Yep. It begins. Yep, the downloading is back. Yep. Don't worry about the numbers, just kick their asses. Uh, I'll explain more about being right back. Alright. Yeah, well, I was gonna say, just like uh, Fi and Skyward Sword, Aaron is basically a sword. <laughs> but yeah. And apparently that sword grants you the power to use magic. Mm hmm. Well, he can't use Skyward Strike. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I'll take that sword if it grants me the ability to spawn bread. Yeah. Oh wait, was he trying to pronounce a uh, right a uh, fair rice? Oh wait, that's, oh, wait, that's the, I think that's later. That's shortly. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Trying to make it easier so I can take them all out one shot. So yeah, first tutorial battle. Like, there's only gonna be two tutorial battles, that's it. It'll soon be time to put some bread in his mouth. <laughs> and I still got that toast. <laughs> that was your quote, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> nope, still don't want to. Bang. It's so weird he runs around with a toast in his mouth. Wouldn't that shit be stale by then? Bang. <laughs> okay, I, okay, I saw he said conscious. Never heard of it. Goodbye. Wait, uh, at least comes after that. Your memories are well, that guy's attention. So, honestly, I don't know if uh, actually Aaron was kind of bluffing here about, you know, withering away and all that. <laughs> but um, at least she got Fang's attention to do all this. Mm -hmm. Look, you're hurting her feelings, Fang. You really Bastard. Are, you really are an asshole. Oh yeah, you about to learn the the fair rice short the fair rice shortly. Yeah, fair rice. <laughs> yeah, we were just talking about that. Idiot. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> there you go. I guess. I, 
always thought, honestly, Aaron was kind of a Sundari in a way, but uh, I don't think she is, so I think I might have uh, corrected myself on that. Don't! Oh, god damn it. Yeah, tension, um, that is important. Once the tension's glowing green, uh, light green, then you can actually fair eyes. That's why they filled it up all the way for us to use this. Oh, yeah. I believe that if you let it fill like 100 times, you did a choy for that as well. That's sort of like fried rice. No, Fink. What'd he do now? Oh, he mispronounced fair right. Fair right. <laughs> No, fake idiot. So, why haven't they attacked him yet? I'm surprised they didn't. Z, fake. With a C. They're just standing there waiting for you to freaking do your thing. Just like freaking uh, that one monster in Mark 2. Oh, oh which one? one? Oh, you talking about the. You talking about the. You talking about that monster I wanted to see? Oh. You know, that was actually the nicest monster out of them all who actually patiently waited. <laughs> I kind of respect that, honestly. Yeah. And I love how Fang got to stab himself to become fair, right? Yeah, I thought, like, holy shit. That's really? Kinda, what the fuck? Oh, that's got to be painful. It didn't really mess up they actually die from that shit. You would think, I'm like, but, yeah. Well, that went well. Game over. So damn Done. It's not embarrassing. <laughs> sure. He may as well become Vegeta. Stabs himself. Only to become stronger. <sighs> Fang. Yeah, just fight. Yeah, come on, Fang. You're wasting so much time. Yeah, you wasted so much of my time. Damn it. Are we going to the park <laughs> soon? <laughs> Wait, what? Who said it? I don't know. Random Mrs. Puff quote from Spongebob. Oh, god damn it. Oh, right, 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 right. Bye, 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 spin, spin, spin. Oh, you remember the episode where Spongebob was, was cheating on his driver test? Yes. It's true. There's a, there is a, he a speaker a, uh, radio in my in my head. There's someone else giving me the answers. I'm cheating. I'm cheating. I'm cheating. This is like okay, you can cheat. She was no. so <laughs> cheat that way. Fang, <sighs> you are a real pain in the ass. The only time when Patrick is actually smart. He actually knows how to drive. He was actually smart when he got that different uh, crater in his head. <laughs> For that one episode of like maybe seven or eight minutes, he was actually a, ge a freaking genius. Go find yourself a new mentor. <laughs> <laughs> Good grief. I mean, the only downside was he lacked friends for being so intelligent. That was the issue. So it didn't really work out yeah. at all. Anyway, we're finally done with the tutorial, so now we're gonna actually get to the the real stuff. I'm gonna lie, the intro looks pretty cool though. It does. Damn. <laughs> Not the music I would expect from this game, honestly, but damn, that's pretty good. And now we're in the city of Zelwins at last. It's pretty much just we're going to be here for the entire playthrough. Kind of the main uh, home world to come to where we need to rest or uh, shop or do some guild missions. Well, it, it's still, I know it's guild missions in it too, but I still call it guild missions because it just makes sense because it's kind of like that on here. Oh yeah, also Aaron and Neptune, they, they also got something in common. They lost their memories. Oh uh, yeah, that's actually true. I didn't thought of that. Because <laughs> she did in yeah. uh, the first century in Rebirth 1, and Aaron did on here too. Yup. Huh. I actually kind of forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. 
hurry up and get your memories back so I can't see uh, Tiara's nerve gear for some reason. The way I see talk, though. Oh. The long hair and all that. Yeah, I can see that in a way. How she looks on, yeah, but... Sadly, oh, no, that's not her. Well, well, well. And hello, Lola. It's true. I'm very handsome. Who kind of reminds me of Ron, Ram, Gus, especially Mr. Money... Bags. Money bags from Spyro. Uh, oh, shit, two all in one. <laughs> yeah, I remember when I when I on my last play with someone actually commented and he was actually surprised that Lola looked like Robin Rim and uh, Gus. Uh, well, I mean she is short. Yes. Yeah. Um, she does have Gus in her because Gus will help, but she wants money out of it. Yeah, she wants she demands payment though. So I, I see more of Gus and money bags in uh, Lola. Oh, oh, are, are you gonna do Lola's side quest in this eyes. playthrough? <laughs> yes, the eyes. And uh, to answer your question, Celtics, um, I am going to take a crack at that. Yes. Oh boy. Oh, I have half fun because those monsters are pain in the ass. That's why I'll be grinding. Especially when First place, especially on your first playthrough, and they give you shitty ass experience too. Yeah, but it's okay. I'm also going to try to attempt on getting to level 40 for Fang, so I can get the uh, Apollonius on my team. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, you two didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah so he I found it by idea. accident. Yeah, he he found it by accident. But uh, we'll get to that part much later when we uh, get further in the, in the playthrough. Oh shit! Oh, wow. we still got a lot more to go. God damn. Still it. ten oh. minutes left. Yeah, the ten more. Yeah, it's thirty minutes. We're only twenty-two minutes in. He <laughs> <laughs> wasn't. I didn't really recall he was picking his nose. Yucky. Yucky. Oh, Don't. <laughs> I do it every time. Every time Eric comes up with another lesson, <laughs> damn it! It's kind of cool seeing Aaron with you know the graduation cap on and some and glasses on too. Makes her look like a professional. What's a fury? What's a fencer? Fairies and fencers. Yeah, it's just some interesting facts that Aaron will discuss to you about fairies and fencers. Yep. Oh yeah, that's a reference to your last play. <laughs> what do you mean? Wasn't that, that was... in my first episode? First oh, or second, that... one of the yes, two. Yes, that's oh. what I was about. So now we're now learning about how, about selling stuff and buying stuff at well, Tombow's shop. Funny thing, says the name of the first part was a Rugrats reference when I said, Fang hungry, Fang want eat. I, swear, I don't remember that. It's been so long watching that show. You remember that stupid gorilla in the, in the Toy Story episode? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. He says, Thork hungry. Thork want eat. <laughs> Toy Story. <laughs> that was funny. Now, really, you can only parents just talk here in the pub. But later on, you'll be able to do uh, missions here. This week, kind of where you get your gold missions, basically. But we can't do anything yet. And all these scenes where, you know, just, just talking... Uh, I'm just skipping through all these because none, none of these are really important. Oh, are you going to show all the endings? Uh, I do plan to show the two that uh, are different, yes. Oh, yeah, and good news, everyone. There's no conquest ending. Thank goodness. <laughs> There's just a bit of sadness in one of them, but uh, but like I said, we'll leave that to later on. Later. Oh, oh God damn it. <laughs> There's so much information. At least it's not Elmo Chow. Thank goodness. Anyway, oh, yep. Uh, <laughs> so, now I'm pretty sure Sean the basics here, and... Yeah, I almost ran to another one of Aaron's, uh... Teach me Aaron. <laughs> Just got out there quickly. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> so, we got, like, a volcano over here. Yeah, some, you can um, easily forget that. Some ice mountains around here, some towers, some, a desert. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Do you get a game over? Do you get a game over this playthrough? No. Okay. I, I, the first two parts I recorded, no, I have not yet. I'm trying to be more careful with that. Oh, because I was wondering what happened on your blind playthrough of it. <laughs> eh, yeah, I know. I, I will admit, I actually almost died in part two, but uh, 
I uh, I will save after that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I actually came close to dying, but uh, I had some potions on me, so I was actually okay. And BSL, he almost did a save with it, got a game over. But one problem compared to you two, y'all, one y'all forgot to save. Yeah. I literally had to save and I had to go through all of it again. Dull! <laughs> Damn it to hell. <laughs> Stop it, Aaron. <laughs> um, yeah, so I had to go through it all again, but that only took me like five minutes just to get back to where I was, so by skipping through everything. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was just about it. I only had two game overs for the entire playthrough from that, and then when I fought the, the fake Aaron's near, near the end of the game. Oh, yeah, like the fake uh, Purple Hearts. <laughs> yes. So now we're doing our first uh, actual fight against a bee here. And we're done. Oh. Okay, now the first thing you want to do, you want to you wanna upgrade your combos. Yeah, combos are important because you can do more attacks every time. I cannot believe when I first played this, when I played this spot, it took me like a minute to figure this out. It took me a few parts to actually just figure that out, so I learned it. Oh, you can do more combos, okay. Yeah, level those up first. It also took me a while near the end of the game to actually learn I can uh, edit my combos as well. I didn't learn how to edit them, honestly, until then. It actually also took me a little while to learn that you can, like, teach, like, TR heal and stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, that too. Ugh. I didn't read those. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And, uh, uh, hey, uh, going the wrong way uh, past me. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be cutting out uh, any enemies we've already seen, but if I do level up, though, I will show that off. Uh, potions are basically your healing items. Um, there are also a thing called energy shards, where uh, that's basically your um, MP that you'll be uh, you'll be uh, your magic points to um, increase or SP. Yeah, this is another spell, new spell shown off here, fireball, which. Uh, Honestly, the attack's not as strong compared to doing a regular attack. See a big difference compared to the fireball. But I'm just showing off every new attack, and any, any new enemies we'll see I'll show off. And, okay, that was new right there. Uh, burnt Toast. Uh, I believe those are just something you can equip onto your character. I don't know if it does anything special to stats, but um, it's just a nice little accessory. <laughs> Then he puts it in his mouth. And sometimes there will be <laughs> floors involving just a, like one floor up to the most, which will be up ahead further, at least uh, five floors. So, yeah, there are plenty of floors to go through in, in the game. One to two most of the time, sometimes three, which is kind of rare, and another rare dungeon, which will be five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they make it more challenging than Neptunia. That's why it's in Victory 2. There's going to be uh, much bigger dungeons and a lot more to explore in that game. Oh, and speak of more floors, <laughs> also, some of the boss has, has more health bars, which took me a minute to figure this out. Also, uh, hi, Tiara and Kui. Uh, Kui is the fairy, and Tiara is the fencer. And yeah, she actually almost does the lightning gear, like we mentioned before. Hey, what's with that, Tig? Yeah, parallel T, so now things paralyzed. Is that an actual thing? Paralyzed? Paralytic T. I don't oh. think so. I ain't even heard of it, honestly. Par paralysis? Paralyzed? I can see it, but I never heard of paralytic. <sighs> oh, shut up. But then again, it's fake, so I'm not that surprised. Uh, we got there first. Bullshit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't think that's what he meant, Tiara, but okay. Well, at least you're being nice enough to help, though. Don't see a little. It just a, tell about her face. She's a little too impressed. Yeah, 
Yep, she is. Ah, you're a little bitch. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> yeah, I like how to be how to be shaking like that. Mark that one cussy in a uh, victory one where uh where what's her name? Uh Iris I keep on tasering up uh, R four. Oh gosh. Damn, babe, what the hell? Then when the then the standby shit came out, I was like, okay, I really don't want to know what she did to R four. Now watch. Yeah, that reaction that Tiara got, she actually liked it. Oh yeah, I was, I, was, I was talking about that earlier today. How she gets, she, whenever, whenever she gets insulted, it, it turns her on. That's just creepy. But seriously, seriously, folks, never call a girl with that that B word. Never. Cause that's gonna get you. That's gonna get. That's gonna get you kicking the fucking balls. <laughs> we'll say that right now. You know, I would enjoy seeing someone get kicked in the balls just to see that happen. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind one bit. <laughs> anyway, next time, guys. Yeah, pot's gonna, over. Next time, guys, we're gonna run after TR and get that fury back. Hopefully, unless Flame decides to fucking take a nap. Slacker. Anyway, later, folks. Later. Later.